G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm making a video by request, by popular request. Basically the breakdown of what it costs and what you need to turbo your NA Barra. The most popular question I get asked is how much did it cost? So we're gonna go over that today. Um, I'll try and make it entertaining as well as factual and I've been through all my purchases and I've made a list of everything so let's do it we we'll go for a drive you crazy mother asked all the time how much so I've got my list in the car here this list doesn't include service items so it doesn't include spark plugs oil oil filter air filter fuel filter coolant all that kind of stuff because as much as you would do all those things you don't need to do them like even the spark plugs you can just regap the standard plugs we'll just go with a straight out turbo conversion what i paid and what you need what you don't need and you've got to understand that prices are variable you know what i paid for something you might be able to get cheaper or you might not be able to get cheaper it's a economy is strange at the moment there's a whole lot of stuff going on in the world at the moment that's changed things so first you don't need injectors the turbo barras came out with the same injectors as the NA. You don't need to buy injectors. They will be fine at the amount of boost pressure for an NA engine. So, you know, we're talking six, seven pounder boost. You don't need injectors. The other thing that you don't need is a high volume fuel pump, standard fuel pump. So don't worry about that. People tell you that you need one, you don't need it. If you're going for high kilowatts yeah you will but you're not going to do it on an NA engine you need to start changing things so don't worry about that kind of stuff and you might want to know well how do, I, how do you know that and how do I know that personally well I've got the standard fuel pump I've got the standard injectors in there so the first thing on the list is the turbo the snail variable how long is a piece of string turbos I've seen turbos go for a couple of hundred bucks I've seen them go for two and a half thousand bucks so the turbo I bought was a second-hand Garrett GT3582R ball bearing turbo. These are the ones that they run in the BABF turbo engines. I paid $900 for it, but it came with a brand new in-the-box core. So it never been used. So basically I got a brand new turbo. The housings weren't worn. It's the brand new turbo for $900. I could have gone for a Chinese one. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to stick with what I know is reliable and I paid a bit extra for it. I've seen turbos that apparently have no play in the shaft. Secondhand ones go for $300. I've seen them go with manifolds for $350. So you just gotta chop around. It depends how, it's like anything. When you're looking for parts, it depends how desperate you are to buy them. If you can wait, you're gonna get stuff cheaper than if you need it tomorrow. So, so at the end of this, I will put a list up which you can screenshot of the prices. I'm also referencing everything that I still have copies of what I paid. So the next part is the turbo exhaust manifold. I just bought a standard VABF XR6 turbo exhaust manifold. It cost me $200. I've seen them go cheaper. I've seen them go for more. It's a Johnny on the spot thing. Not a lot of them come up. Um, I just grabbed one and that was about the going rate when I was looking. Now remember, I started this build, well, I did this build in the middle of January prices have changed. Barra stuff's hot property at the moment so I haven't been looking I don't know what stuff's worth now so what I'm telling you now might be different because um, everyone's going crazy with Barra stuff and America's fleecing us of a lot of things. The beauty thing about the way I did it a lot of guys are going for more kilowatts on their turbo engine and they're taking all the standard stuff off 
some people get rid of them cheap so that's the advantage about doing an NA turbo because you're gonna get the stuff that people don't want so the other bit that I needed was the dump pipe factory dump pipe I paid fifty dollars for it so the next bit was the exhaust I managed to find a fairly decent size I think they called an X-Flow, I can't remember. Um, exhaust system, complete system, second hand for 150 bucks. The next bit, or well, parts that I bought as a complete setup was the whole intake assembly. That was the intercooler, all the piping, the works, everything for the basically cold side, I guess you want to call it. So after I bought that off, the guy I bought it from realized that one of the pipes was missing, so I had to go to another guy, and that's where I got the exhaust from actually. Also went looking for the intake pipe, and he had an exhaust there, and I bought the exhaust. But the whole intake setup, including in a cooler and everything I needed, was 150 bucks. So there's three fittings you need for the um, oil line, for oil feed. So I just pull over to read these ones. So the three two piece was $3.25. Three eight male to male fitting was $2. And the 38 NTP fitting was $11.30. So the next part was the oil, water, line kit, cooling kit, oil kit for the turbo. Braided setup, that was $160. Some people don't run the water through them. I'm not gonna take that chance. Turbos get hot. So the gasket kit for the turbo itself I reused the original exhaust manifold gasket, but the turbo gaskets, the kit for that was $30. You need to replace your fuel pressure regulator. Like I said, you don't need the fuel pump from a turbo, they're the same, but you do need the fuel pressure regulator. They're a four bar unit, and the one I bought was $62. Other bit you need is the turbo map sensor. I paid $68 for the map sensor, when I went to install it, I realized that the wiring harness didn't fit, so I bought an adapter, which was expensive, but I needed it. It's one of them things that I just had to go and get. It was $79, but I've since found out now, don't take my word on this, but someone, a couple of people have said that the FG um, map sensors for the turbos will fit the BA harness. That might be a cheaper way to do it, but I can't confirm if that's right or not. You can buy a pin kit for it, a plug kit, um, and change the pins, um, but I just got the harness, it's just easier. So there's a couple of options you can do with a heat shield. On my build, I trimmed back the NA heat shield and then bought a cover for the turbo. That was $31. The transmission oil cooler I bought was 65 bucks. Boost controller, I went for a mechanical one. I just went for the small GFB one. That was $89. I went for the GFB because of reliability. People talk about mechanical ones not being super reliable. I figured I'm not gonna put a Chinese one on, I'll get the Aussie one. And they had a lot of good reviews and it's a company that's trusted, so I just went for that. It's working perfectly. And the last thing I had to get for it was the boost gate, which was 32 bucks. And it was just a cheap thing and it's working fine. Now, before I give you the grand total and the list of everything, um, I wanna answer a couple more questions. A lot of people say, and I've seen it online, I've had comments, you're better off just buying a turbo car. Have you seen the price of turbo cars now? What Barra turbo cars are worth? This whole build, including what I paid for the car, it owes me less than six grand. And I've got 250 kilowatts. 270 when I fix my transmission. So, are you going to get a turbo barra, a real one for six grand? No. Good luck. Like not a good one. What this is a good. This is a good rig. This is really clean. Any person that's flogged it is me, pretty much. People have said, oh, it's easier to just buy a turbo one. Yeah. Well, where's the fun in that? Like, I enjoy building stuff. For me, it was about the exercise in building it and going from NA to turbo, the difference driving this thing as an NA, picking it up from the tuner that day and taking it for a spin, and the, it was chalk and cheese as far as the performance. It's just, it just livened it right up. It's a totally different car. It was just unreal. It was just so satisfying to do. And you know what makes it worth it is the reactions I get from people. This thing looks like a council ute, like an old council ute 
just a tradies ute. It's got stockies on it. Um, the only way you know it's a little bit special because my intercooler, you can see it from the front. You get the double looks when it does the choo-choo. People go, what? You gotta understand that all that pricing too doesn't include the tune. The tunes are variable. I get asked all the time, how much was the, was the tune? I got looked after with the tune through a mate. Um, I was asked not to discuss the price, but the quotes I got were anywhere from 700 bucks up to 1500 bucks. I wanted to go to a guy that knew what they were doing. The guy I went to, um, Euro Prestige, out at McGrath's Hill, knew exactly what he was doing. So sure, yeah, a factory turbo car's got a stronger diff, limited slip, and a stronger transmission, but it all comes down to budget. I don't have the budget to buy one, I just don't. And I know a lot of you guys don't, and that's why we consider doing this kind of stuff. You know what, if I blow my diff up, I can afford to go and buy another second-hand diff. It's gonna take a small portion of my wage to do that. This gearbox is cactus, but saying that, it hasn't got any worse in the, what's it, eight months I've been flogging it. It flares in the second gear. Apart from that, it's strong. Once it gets 100% line pressure, the thing just smokes the tires. And this gearbox was cactus before I put it in. It's not the turbo that's wrecked it. I've just gotta change the gearbox, I haven't got around to doing that. But it's okay to work on a budget. Hey, I, I work on a budget, I have to, I can't afford it. And I'm not gonna go and get a loan to do things. I just don't, I'm not like that. So anyway, let's give you the grand total, hey? Where's the drum roll? All right, $2,082.55. Turbo car, 250 kilowatts. So if you haven't watched the other vids on the build, go back and have a look. There's four parts. I go through the whole process, what I did, try to be as detailed as I can. Anyway, let's hit some boost, huh? Love it. I'm not nice to it. That's it from me. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Hit me up with questions. I'm not an expert, but I will do my best to answer them based on what I've experienced now. There's going to be lots of things happening to this car as we go and uh, I'll keep updating you guys but it's still unreal, reliable.